Well, hello, soul family. Beautiful rising. Good afternoon and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our week, or no, our, our daily chakra energy reading. I just did the weekly review, and so I was... Uh, Still in the weekly review mode. <laughs> this is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is uh, what is today? <gasps> March third, three three twenty twenty four. So happy March third to all of you. Happy Sunday. Happy new month. And, well, yeah, new month, N new month and new week. So. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So use your intuition to tune into what the message is for you. All right, lovely people. Let's give the deck one last shuffle and then cut it up. <laughs> oh, gosh, I don't know. I just, you know, make my own jokes sometimes and laugh. All right, so let's get into this week's, the beginning of this week's energy, this 3-3 three, three day. What affirmation do you have for us today, spirit, chakras? What is our 3-3 three, three message? There it is. Okay, yep, no, this is that one that flipped over, was not meant to. It is all the auric field of the mental body today. So card number 17, focus, thank you. And it says, I lovingly and gratefully accept each of my thoughts as an opportunity for healing and development. I lovingly and gratefully accept each of my thoughts as an opportunity for healing and development. Yes. So what I'm feeling, let me just say what I'm feeling on this. You know how sometimes we get stuck in those, <clears throat> our monkey mind, that's what I'm thinking, our monkey mind, our, th our thoughts are always going round and round, up and down, in and out, <laughs> or maybe we have an experience or something that sticks in our mind, sticks in our thoughts, and continues to go round and round, up and down. <laughs> I'm feeling with this affirmation that we are being guided to know that each of our thoughts are there for a reason. We don't, we're not necessarily meant to force them out, but just to look at them, to take our emotion and our feeling out of them and just to look at them and see what it is, why we feel those thoughts are sticking with us, why we feel that those thoughts are hanging around and I feel like once we just figure it out that's when we release them so um so yeah so those thoughts that stick around if you know because thoughts are always coming in and out of our heads so if you find yourself attaching to some of them and not able to let them go then take a good look at them but take a look at them from just from an observer point of view so you know like you are just okay so look here is this thought here is this thought that is um, triggering or that is bothering this person and this person has this person is holding on to this thought because A, B, C, or X, Y, Z, or maybe this person is holding on to this thought for whatever, whatever. Is this a valid thought that this person needs to hold on to anymore? No? Okay. Then, thank you, thought. I appreciate you and helping me for helping me to heal this. So, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm feeling with this particular affirmation. Because, yeah, all of our thoughts are an opportunity for healing and our own development. Because once we release that thought and once we heal from it, then we have stepped up in our own development. We have, you know, gotten more XP points. <laughs> but, okay. 
So let's read the meaning. I lovingly and gratefully accept each of my thoughts as an opportunity for healing and development. Meaning, if you divide your complex thinking process into good and bad thoughts, you are just limiting yourself unnecessarily. Simply allow yourself to think anything and everything. This will open up an enormous creative potential within you and make room for the healing mechanism of self-cleansing within you. Don't let yourself be talked into believing you are not allowed to have certain thoughts because they could harm others. If it were that simple to damage things with our thoughts, then many politicians, business bosses, and military leaders would have been long dead a thousand times over. In other words, if each thought became reality, every human being would wishes wait every human being would wishes others well would okay, so I'm figuring that this maybe is supposed to be like which so every human being which wishes others well would become a great healer in the blink of an eye, however. The reality is fortunately not quite as simple and superficial. So the more you listen to half conscious ideas, intuitions, and associations, the more creative you will become and the more your creative pen potential you can use. Healing stone, selenite, and copper metal. Fragrance essence is pine and the box flower is chestnut bud. So yeah. Absolutely. Allow yourself to have any and all thoughts um, and don't judge them. There's no such thing as a good thought or a bad thought. They are simply there and they are just there for us to take a look at. Take a look at, see if they are something that we can learn and grow from and um, what we just need to release. So, yeah. Ah, so keep this affirmation in mind as you go throughout your week and you <laughs> find yourself having all types of different thoughts. Um, yeah, the key is to not allow your thoughts to have power over you, but to have the power over your thoughts. So I hope this helps and I hope that you all found something that you resonated with. And if you did, then please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Thank you all so very much for tuning in today. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.